Hello and welcome to the Overshield interviews. My name is Andrew Holmes for the Overshield.com and today I have a very, very special guest. Special guest, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Alan Broody. And what do you do? I'm a senior animator for video games. Which is awesome. Now, if you don't mind, uh, can you just tell our audience some of the past titles you've worked on? Oh my, so all the way back to Aladdin for the Genesis, uh, up to The Sims, uh, quite a few of The Sims 1 and Sims 2, um, The Force Unleashed 2, uh, most currently Dance Central 3. A lot of quality titles there, I must say. Thanks. So, kind of a first question for a lot of things. How did you get into the video game business? What made you want to be a animator? Um, well, when I started, you didn't really have a specialty like animation. Um, I got a degree in illustration from Art Center College of Design, and a video game company recruited through my school, and they liked my work because I had a lot of insects and reptiles in it and they thought that that would somehow be a perfect fit for the video game world um and i wanted to stay in california and so i kind of fell into the role um it wasn't something i actively pursued and at the time it was kind of new and up and coming in the state so i kind of fell into that and over time as things evolved into 3d you did everything you you modeled and texture mapped and rigged and animated. So I did all of that. Um, but animation was really the, the one aspect of all of that that I enjoyed the most. And I became more of a specialist in that over time. All right. So as you said, you worked on a lot of different titles. Has there been a specific title or just a piece of work that you've done that you've appreciated more than others, just maybe your favorite game that you've worked on? Um, well, I have a lot of, I have a few favorites. Um, I really love working on The Sims, um, just because the characters are really fun, it's very actor driven, um, you didn't have to do run cycles and walk cycles, you got to, I got to do things like characters making out and dogs peeing and pooping and doing all sorts of like fun, bizarre acting uh, scenarios. Uh, so that was a lot of fun and I really liked how it just appealed to women and kids. That was kind of one of my favorite things about The Sims. Um, but then I really also loved working at Lisa Hearts on The Force Unleashed 2, the the characters and like the things like the giant Gorog, just a big kind of gorilla-like beast, you know, it was, it was just so much fun to animate and the rigs were really cool and, you know, it just, it was really beautiful. And so I really appreciate that and that's so kind of like one of my more proud moments from um, also getting to do some of the in-game cinematics, which, which was a lot more fun and, and more acting, acting driven as well. So. Um, so yeah, I guess I like I like to work on the games where you're not actually doing gameplay. <laughs> so I was actually gonna ask, since you've been in the video game industry for so long, do you consider yourself a gamer? I'm really not that big of a gamer. I like the really simple games, um, like draw something and work with friends, and you know, I, I have the Sims. Um, I'm not a real big hardcore gamer. Um, so I'm not, but I, I respect all the different genres, um, but I, I prefer to get outside and do something rather than stay inside and do it on a machine. I can understand. In having your job, I can understand. Maybe you don't exactly want to play games all the time. Yeah. So, currently you are working with Backbone Entertainment, correct? Uh, yeah. Okay. So... I have to ask this. Is there anything maybe you can, uh, you know, you can uh, give up? Maybe a little exclusive, something that you're currently working on? Well, and if you can't, I understand, but yeah. I have to ask. No, I can't. Um, sadly, that, that studio is being shut down. They're closing the studio, so we're all um, pretty much out of work at this point. I had no idea. Yeah. Wow, look at me doing my research. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Yeah, so it's 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 
we're in a, a slow shutdown, but pretty much most of the people are gone now. So, it's kind of sad. We did Dance Central 3, one of the most highly rated Dance Central games so far, and and we uh, kind of ended ended the studio ultimately as well. So. so- Going back, I see that you you first started at Virgin Entertainment, correct? Yes. Now, I must ask, did you ever work with the likes of Tommy Tallarico? I did. Can you, if there was anything specific, can you tell me about your experiences with Tommy Tallarico? Or just your experience with Virgin in general? Because you did work on Aladdin, like you said, and, you know, your first job in the gaming industry, it had to be something special, so... Yeah, I I was really fortunate to work there when I did. I worked with all kinds of amazingly talented people, and so many of them went on to found their own studios, um, and been highly successful, um, so, you know, just, just all of the people I've worked with in that one studio, it's just crazy how successful people have gone on to become. Um, Tommy was, he's a, he's a really nice guy. He was always, and is always very upbeat, positive, lots of energy, um, flamboyant. He was very flamboyant back in the day. Um, and, and just really enthusiastic and, and positive. Really awesome guy. So, looking forward since Sadly, Backbone isn't doing so well, as you said. Is there any studio that you would want to work for? Is there some kind of dream studio you you would want to have your services at? Um, I'm still, I'm looking, and I'm trying to figure out what studio, like what area I want to go in. If I want to stay and do any console development, uh, or do I want to kind of go into the mobile online gaming space. So I'm, I'm kind of beginning to look more mobile and um, trying to figure out where that studio would be that fits the bill. I've talked to a few. All right. Well, and then as per always, per these interviews we do for the website, I must ask the last question. It's very, very personal. You don't have to, you don't have to answer, but what is your favorite color of all time <laughs> green green yeah all right you heard it here first folks it's green nowhere else on the internet will you have this information right Probably not <laughs> all right so thank you so very much for coming on i appreciate it thank you thanks for all right. giving me a call it's been nice chatting all right, nice. And this is Andrew Holmes for the Overshield.com. Thank you for listening. See you next time. <laughs>